Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And oh, oh, this is where I introduce myself. What's up, guys? <laughs> How's it going? Eric's here. And we are bringing you guys Smash Battles, which yes. is... Tell us about Smash Battles, Alex. Oh, he's just passing the buck to me. I, I see am, how indeed. it is. Smash Battles is a uh, short series of videos in the run-up to the release of Super Smash Bros. Mm. Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch, where we talk about pretty much anything you could ever want to know about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Exactly. Uh, if you want melee stuff, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> but over the course of the next few episodes, we'll be going over various different topics, from characters to items to stages to single player, competitive play, loads of stuff like that. So if you guys are Smash Brothers fans, of course, don't forget to stick around, don't forget to hit that like button, and of course, stay tuned. Plus, there'll actually be a competition you guys can get involved in. Oh, and yes. What do they have to do for that one, Alex? Oh, wow. Well, if you want to get involved, which you should, basically, because you should, um, we are running, at the moment, a, uh, a thing on Instagram. I don't know what you call it. Link down below. Link down below, of course, over on the uh, Nintendo Life Instagram account, mm. which has lots of lovely followers, so make sure you're one of them, uh, where we are basically going to be voting, well, you are at least, I can't, it's against my interests. Well, against someone's interests anyway. <laughs> um, we're going to be uh, voting on uh, the best Smash characters, and there's going to be four every single day. Vote for your favorite one, and then of the final eight that are chosen, they're going to be in something very special called a live stream tournament. Mm. Yes, exactly. That's a chance for you guys to get involved as well, so definitely plenty of stuff to look forward to. Vote for Young Link! But <laughs> today, we're of course going to kick this off by talking about the first topic, which is of course characters. Characters is, is. the foundation of Smash Brothers, of course. There are 74 great characters to choose ah, from. Unless you count Pokemon trainers, individual Pokemon, in which case it's 76 for any maths fans out there. This is true, this is true. I can't wait for the new, the new year when that's 77 with good old Piranha oh, Plant. Oh, Piranha oh, Plant. That's be great. It's a shame that we haven't had a man managed to have a go with him yet, but he's just not done. Sakurai's there, he's still tinkering with him. I mean, he's sitting behind us, there's Piranha Plant right there, but... Yeah, yeah, but we, <laughs> we just can't show you, unfortunately. I know, right. But anyway, uh, what are your highlights uh, in terms of the characters? Which character, just pick one for the moment, okay. that really speaks to you, of the new ones? Of the new, oh, all the, the returning new ones. ones. Okay, oh, let's, let's A start. character that wasn't in Smash 4. All right, let's start, let's start with, with, with new characters then. New character for me, probably Richter. So mm. I, so like, you know, when I saw him in the direct, he looked really cool, but you know, I didn't, I didn't have as much of an attachment to the, to the series as much. So I thought, you know, there, there's other characters that were my, my priority list. But I picked him up today, and he plays so incredibly well. He's kind of got this this yeah. interesting balance where he's he's got a fair degree of weight to him. So he's not like a super fast character, but he's definitely not slow. And he's got plenty of abilities for like controlling space. So you know, you've got plenty of options for you've got projectiles, and of course, you just like he's really good at sort of like applying that pressure from a good distance. And his recovery is actually pretty strong as well. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not the best recovery. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not someone who we'll talk about later's recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is it is certainly decent. Hmm. And uh, I've actually uh, fought far more Richter characters. There's only one. But I've fought Richter far more often than I've actually played as Richter. Mm -hmm. And he can be a right little nuisance, to say the oh, least. Yes. He's got so many projectiles. He's got his uh, holy water, which he can throw down, and loads of flame comes mm -hmm. out. Um, he's got his axe that he can throw in an arc. Oh, that axe is strong. That is. And it looks like, you know, sort of, oh, you're never going to hit anyone, but it's great at mm. zoning. And that's what Richter is all about. And his down air, you, if you get them at the kind of the right the right angle, you can actually combo it, like get sort of those three or four back to back, which is a really nice way to kind of lock people in. You so, like his down air, don't you? It is. I mean, it's also quite dangerous. I have down aired off the edge, so uh, do be wary, but... He's pretty strong. What about you? How, how, how are you feeling about some Ooh, of these new characters? Well, um, the new characters, um, I would suppose the one that I've played the most would be Ridley. <laughs> it's, all a, it's all about the R's today. Of course, of uh, course. Mr. Riddlester himself, he's just... I, I think it's just because I love the character of Ridley yeah. and mm. the fact that he is too big, but he is no longer. And mm. he has he's such an unusual moveset. Yeah. He's quite he's quite fast for a heavyweight. He mm -hmm. really is. And um, he's got things like his side B, which is a grab and can catch people off guard because yeah. people, you know, will often expect you to use an attack. And instead you're dragging, you drag them along the ground, you throw them in the air, and he goes, yeah. ah! <laughs> um, That can be cancelled, thankfully, that animation. Mm -hmm. uh, although they're off in the air anyway, so it's no problem. And if you use it when you're in the air, especially off the edge, uh, you can do some really nasty moves with that. The first mm -hmm. time I did that by accident, the first time I played as him, uh, yes. and um, that was a, that was extremely entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, and I I love that he's got such a great variety in moves. If you don't get control of the situation, like a lot of the characters actually, yeah. the new characters, if you lose control of the situation, it can be a little bit tricky to get it back. Mm -hmm. But once you're in control, 
you're just, you know, you're, you're going to wipe the floor with them. And he's got so, you know, so many aerial options as well. Yeah. Um, I really like his um, his neutral aerial. He's got, it's got a huge arc, loads of active frames, mm. and uh, it, it's just it's just great fun. And it's just great to play as Ridley, basically. And he has some pretty cool costumes. He's got those like almost. Oh yeah, he's looks... got Meta Ridley as well, yeah, which is always yeah. great fun. Uh, I do like a bit of the Riddler. <laughs> he is he is excellent. So of course there's like there's many more to, more to choose from. I mean, like, oh, throwing, loads. Throwing back to a few of the kind of some of the, some of the previous characters, some of the ones we've had for you know, had for a while. I am a massive fan of Young Link. I know Young Link has been getting quite a bit of attention on um, from like the you know from some of the pro scene. People have been kind of like, analysing their chance to play hands on initially. And obviously, right now the game you know the game is that's that's all going to change once the game comes out. Once people really get a chance to sink their teeth into it and start working out who like who really is going to be at the top, then this will massively change. But Young Link is he's, he fills a really good space because he's got that good blend of speed and also a good blend of power. Because, you know, as, as, as someone that in previous Smash games, I was a two Link player, because of course I lean typically more so into speed. Now, young Link, obviously he feels that way. He's got the traditional bombs, he's got the, you know, traditional arrows, he's got the, the fire arrows, and he's just got, he doesn't have a lot of like, lag to his to a lot of his to a lot of his moves. You know, you can kind of follow up a lot of things very, very quickly. Even like his mm. even his down even his, his sword plant, you know, you can you can land from that and basically get straight out of it. So a lot of things that would have been dangerous before that you might not have necessarily used, you can actually use a bit more freely now, which is really, really interesting. And even when you when it comes to sort of pulling out bombs, you can do that with minimal loss to your, you know, momentum. So yeah, mm. there's there's a lot of there's I think he's gonna be very very interesting to see. I'm kind of sort of like keen to see him in the hands of like pro players. So I feel like he's going to get a lot of uh, a lot of attention. But yeah. He's also got a decent range to him. It's not as good yes. as um, it's not as good as uh, I suppose Breath of the Wild Link. If you mm -hmm. like just good old standard Link, um, but it's still it's it's further than you'd think. And if you yeah. don't take that into consideration, you can get destroyed, as I yeah, have yeah. done by by Alex <laughs> when he's playing as young Link. <laughs> Pink Link. Plink. Plink, exactly, as we call right? him, yes. Plink. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the best character. Another uh, um, a, a sort of a returning character that uh, I have my eye on, I haven't had a huge amount of time mm. to try them out, is a snake. I've just uh, been messing around, I've just been using Snake, snake in a matches. Snake is um, just as techy as he was before, with loads of you know different weapons and his forward smash. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's it's hard to land, but if you can land it, yeah, goodbye. It is, it is, and, and there's not like DDDs in many regards. Loads True. of loads of uh, wind up, loads of uh, sort of initial frames before it actually activates. Um, but if you get it, and he has a new final smash. He does. It yes, actually, which, I actually uh, really you, like this one. You, yeah. you were playing around with. Yeah, it. Yeah, I, I use that quite a bit because I mean, I, I found that the, the previous one. I mean, you know, obviously it's, it's quite easy once you've got the helicopter back in the old days. But this this new one is quite uh, quite nice. You kind of get that missile barrage, just like going on the stage. And you know, obviously I, I was using it in a one v one setup, but I imagine if you were doing you know larger larger team games, you could probably get quite a few people with that. So yeah, I'm definitely uh, that was I'm a, I'm a fan of that one. And, and there's nothing more satisfying, of course, than placing down a bomb, leaving it for a while, having someone just go over there, thinking they're fine, and then they get exploded. So that was awesome. Yeah. But you you. We've been talking a fair bit about King K. Rool, right? Oh yes, Mr. K. Rool. I couldn't mm. think of a nickname from in time. Um, <laughs> yes, um, I absolutely love King K. Rool. Just again, just as a character, mm. it's always the villains. I always like the villain characters. They're always good fun. Interesting. Good value. This is, so this is saying something, right? Are you, are you, are you secretly, are you secretly in league with the villains? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, but King K. Rool is. Mm. Absolutely fantastic, and again, um, a lot like a lot like Richter, a lot like a lot of the new characters. Yeah. Really great at keeping control, but if you lose that control, it can be difficult to get it back. You have to be very mindful of what the opponents are doing. But King K. Rool mm. does have the advantage of having an absolute metric boatload of super armor. Yes, like he has so much super armor, it's a little bit grotesque. <laughs> He's got it, I believe, on his neutral air. Don't quote me on all of this because I've been playing a lot of characters and my mind is racing at the several meters a second. Um, he's also got it on his, um, I believe he's got it on his uh, dash, which is really, really potent. Mm. Um, because obviously, you know, one of the things with the dash is, you know, it can be shielded and obviously it, can st it still can be, yeah. but people will often try and um, counter and things like that. And it just, it just won't wash with King K rule, but he's got all this super armor, but it's not guaranteed. He's also got a counter. His, yes. uh, his down I like that, that's quite satisfying counter. to land. It is. Um, not many not many active frames. I think they've, you know, they have potentially, we'll probably talk about this a little bit more yeah. um, in a future episode, but uh, the uh, the counters seem to have fewer active frames even than in Smash 4, mm -hmm. um, or at least that's the feeling that I get. Yeah. Um, I couldn't say with any particular confidence. Um, but if, um, if you uh, take too many hits, 
with King K. Rool's super yes. armor. His belly will start to crack, it'll crack a little bit, then it'll crack a lot, hit him a third time when he's using his super armor and it will break. Mm. And it's essentially, he'll crumple. Well, yep. not crumple, sorry, it's a shield break. Yeah, leaving you vulnerable and you can obviously then capitalize on that. So you do want to, it's something you definitely want to take advantage of, but you also need to learn to use it sparingly because if you, if you lean on it too much, it is also going to, you know, it is double edged sword. It's going to come back and bite you exactly. and it will bite hard. And, you yeah. know, people are just going to be, you know, <laughs> fully charging their smash attacks and just unleashing hell on you. And you are going to look like quite the King K fool. Hey, I like it. I like it. And of course, don't forget if you're fighting against him, he can throw his crown and you can pick it up. So if you want to, <laughs> if you want to go and, you know, if you want to go and uh, wind him up a little bit, then just be like, nope, I'm going to take that away and you can't play with that. So. His crown also has uh, uh, super armor frames because <laughs> of, course of course it does. It does. Of, of course, course it does. does. Um, he's a very um, he's a very punishing character if you don't prepare for him properly. Um, also, his recovery his recovery is far greater than it should be for such a heavy character. He's is. a really heavy character, um, but unlike you know Gandalf and you know even Bowser mm. to a degree doesn't have a brilliant recovery. It's okay. Yeah. Um, but King K rules is ridiculous. He gets his little quad co quadcopter, oh. his little uh, helicopter out of his backpack. He goes, <laughs> and he can recover from. I've not seen him fail to recover ever. Admittedly, maybe yeah. on some of the levels with uh, on the stages with the larger blast zones, mm. then maybe. But seriously, don't don't assume that King K. Rule won't come back because he will. <laughs> um, but he does. Uh, it does leave him extremely vulnerable when uh, you know when it's ended. Yeah, and he's falling very very vulnerable. So it sort of balances out. And also shout out to his final smash, which is probably one of my oh, favorite ones. Yes. It's basically the definition of overkill. It's just so incredibly awesome. If you've played Donkey Kong 64, it's the bad ending. That is one of my favorite games. Man. Oh, it's it's a flawed game, but I love it. It is. So obviously it goes, goes, so it goes without saying, there are a ton of characters to choose from. I mean, if you can't find someone in this roster of 74, then uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Right? I, I, I don't think there's any hope for you if you can't find <laughs> someone you like. Oh, before we before we wrap up, DDD. His, um, his neutral uh, special is now actually useful. He can inhale any projectile from my experience. Oh. There may be some exceptions, but at the moment, like even Samus's and Dark Samus's missiles and charge shot, you'll just inhale them. You can't hold them, it just immediately spits it back out, but think of it like a Still. projectile counter, yeah. which is um, insanely powerful for DDD because he's still got his Gordos. I wonder if you inhaled his Gordos that if it gets fired back at you, that would be interesting. Interesting, we'll have to have, um, a, have a DDD We'll matchup. have to have a proper, proper good go with it. But this is the thing with Smash, you know, we've played, a good, you know, I've played um, a good number of hours on it now. Mm. I'd say I've probably played maybe about 10 hours on Smash now, um, which I'm very grateful to <laughs> yeah. Nintendo UK for. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I, I don't feel like I've even scratched the surface oh. of what this game can offer. Got a and lot of that's, work to do. that's the great thing about Smash. Either way, for the time being, that will bring us to a close for the carrots episode. Of course, be, be sure to stay tuned on both my uh, my channel and Nintendo Life channel for the next two episodes. And we will, of course, all be culminating in a epic live stream, which you guys can either watch live or for some of you guys, you might be able to get involved. If you guys want more details, you can find mm. all the details linked down below. You also, of course, want to go over to Nintendo Life's Instagram um, account so you can vote on the characters. Remember, Young Link, vote. The live stream is um, basically we want you to join us. Um, we want four of you to come in and join us on the live stream. Uh, there'll be four of us, <laughs> us two obviously, and two yet to be announced people, um, which is very exciting. Mm. I think you'll like both of them. Um, and it's it's gonna be great. And uh, obviously, you know, you're not just gonna turn up, play a bit of Smash and chuff off home. All four people who join us will be walking away with a limited edition copy mm -hmm. of Super Smash Bros Ultimate. And the winner yes. of the tournament, because it will be a doubles tournament, as you'll all be fighting with one of us, will be walking away with the limited edition Super Smash Bros Ultimate Nintendo Switch. Very nice. With those lovely Joy-Con and that smashing dock. Mm -hmm. if pardon the pun. But either way, yes, yeah, so there are all your details. That is what you have to look forward to. Again, if you want more details, you can find the link in the description box down below. Or but just go to smashbattleslive.com. Or that too. And I know course, the URL. <laughs> and of course, be sure to keep it locked for the subsequent episodes. We'll be speaking more about single player, competitive play, stages, items, and basically all the other good stuff you can do in Smash Bros. And it's going to be absolutely lovely. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you stroke Arix's beard tenderly and pretend it's a subscribe <laughs> button. And be sure to check out NintendoLive.com and Arix Gaming for all sorts of lovely Nintendo and beyond content. Exactly. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.